The nuclear deterrence of a country depends on the nuclear triad. A nuclear triad is the capability to launch nukes from air, sea, and land. The US's nuclear triad includes B-2 and B-52 bombers with nuclear bombs and missiles. Ohio-class submarines armed with Trident II D-5 missiles and Minuteman III ICBMs. The Minuteman family of missiles has served as the backbone of the U.S. land-based nuclear strategic force since 1962. The Minuteman III began development in 1964 and entered service in 1970. The number shrunk to around 450 by September 2017, and currently there are about 400. Over the years, Minuteman III has been found to be extremely reliable, and several upgrades and life extension programs have kept it in working order. But now it's reaching the end of its service life, a new ICBM is being developed. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how LGM-35A Sentinel is shaping up. Let's get into the details. According to a senior U.S. Air Force official, development of the U.S. Air Force's next generation intercontinental ballistic missile, the LGM-35A Sentinel remains on track to undergo a flight test later this year. Although a U.S. Defense Department report to Congress in September showing an estimated 10-month slip in contractor Northrop Grumman's development effort. Brigadier General Ty Newman, U.S. Air Force Director of Concepts, said, The first flight test is still on track and are still scheduled for this year. We're not going to fly it, obviously, until it's ready to go. And so, without getting into any more detail than that, we would expect first flight tests coming in 23. U.S. DOD's most recent selected acquisition report on the progress of the Sentinel, formerly called the Ground-Based Strategic Deterrent, said that due to a schedule variance in Northrop Grumman's baseline plan, critical design review is estimated to move from July this year to May 2024. It's to be noted that this date is within the U.S. Air Force's threshold for declaring initial operating capability with nine missiles on alert in 2029. Northrop Grumman has announced that it has successfully completed a series of wind tunnel tests using scale models of the missile, as well as digital modeling simulations that the company says has proved design maturity. Sarah Willoughby, Vice President and Program Manager Sentinel, Northrop Grumman, said, This wind tunnel campaign is an opportunity to put our digitally engineered designs to the test, under conditions that mimic a missile launch. Predictions for the modeling correlated with the testing results, giving us confidence in our model-based engineering approach. The company also touted the program's advancements in technology with the use of digital engineering, advanced tooling, and a modular open architecture approach. It's to be noted that Northrop is developing Sentinel using digital engineering techniques and AI. According to Newman, the ability of the Sentinel to adapt to evolving threats throughout its intended 40-year lifespan is attributed to the utilization of open architectures. He said, the way we're designing all of our weapon systems at this point in time is the modularity and ability to adapt and change. And what we've realized is a rigid requirement that doesn't have an open architecture in the future is just not sustainable. By the time it's actually delivered, it's OBE because the threat environment changes so much. So Sentinel is going to be one of those systems. It's going to have an open architecture that allows it to have flexibility in the future. A January primer by the Congressional Research Service CRS, on the ICBM modernization effort noted a number of advantages to the current development approach, well beyond the ability to outsource future upgrades to vendors who might provide faster and or cheaper solutions rather than being stuck with Northrop Grumman. For example, CRS said, these types of upgrades might become important as technology evolves and could allow for improvements in the safety and reliability of the missile system. They can include better guidance systems or new types of countermeasures that might allow the missile to penetrate an adversary's ballistic missile defensive systems.
the report explained that the modular design, coupled with the Sentinel's increased throw weight, payload carrying capacity, over the Minuteman 3, would allow the new ICBM to potentially carry different payloads, such as ballistic missile countermeasures. Also, CRS stated, while the current service plan is to field 400 Sentinels, each equipped with one warhead, i.e. a one-on-one -on -one replacement of the Minuteman 3 arsenal, the modular design and the increased throw weight all would enable each Sentinel to be equipped with two or three warheads to meet the international security environment. In other words, the Sentinels would most likely have multiple re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs, or potentially even maneuverable re-entry vehicles, MARVs. The Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, or START II of 1993, signed between the United States and the former Soviet Union, prohibited the use of MIRVs. Nevertheless, after the U.S. pulled out of the 1972 Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty, Moscow also withdrew from START II in 2002. CRS added that some argue that merving the Sentinels might allow the U.S. Air Force to meet targeting requirements with a smaller number of deployed missiles, thus reducing costs, although it also would reduce the resiliency of the ICBM force. Minuteman 3 has been the cornerstone of American land-based nuclear deterrence for around five decades. It's been serving its purpose, but a new system is needed so that nuclear deterrence is not degraded in coming days. The U.S. needs to keep its land-based deterrence fighting fit. DOD's selected acquisition report put the total cost of the Sentinel acquisition program, including the construction of new silos, at $95.8 billion. American rivals, like Russia, are also investing in a new generation of ICBMs to keep their nuclear forces up to date. The RS-28 Sarmat is a Russian liquid-fueled, MIRV-equipped ICBM under development by Makiev Rocket Design Bureau since 2009. It's expected to replace R-36 Satan soon. While the overall progress is good, it remains to be seen if the stated timeline of Sentinel is actually achieved. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.